please welcome the final competitors. From Canada, Piper Dillis and Paul Poirier. Well, the goal to start the season off was to win a world title. They knew they had to hit their season's best in the rhythm dance if they wanted that to happen. They felt just short of that mark yesterday, but they're in third place, three and a half points back of first. But this free program has the potential to put up some big numbers, so do not count them out yet. This Wuthering Heights program is a masterpiece. This was a vehicle which they felt could win them a world title. 
We'll find out soon if they were right, but look at those technical element scores. They, at the end of the program, I was looking up at that left ticker. They are slightly ahead of uh, Madison and Evan in the technical requirements and the technical score. Um, we will see if that changes. Of course, things may still be under review, but breathtaking. They have worked so hard to be, I mean, everyone here has, but just seeing them with, come every year with the new material and just best themselves again and again and again is incredible. One can't help but think that this moment is a lot longer than a four minute program. It's a career, it's over, how long together? Over a decade? 13 years, I believe. To skate at home and to lay that down the way they did, I literally was speechless. You know, knowing them for so long, it, it, it definitely, it's hard to not be emotional when you see these kind of skates and programs and right here opening up with a straight line lift, just stillness. You can almost feel like she's standing on a widow's peak at a castle in Scotland. <laughs> but a gliding on one foot would have been. <laughs> Technically, always very sound, and they disguise the technical elements perfectly into their program. How they got into their twizzles, totally disguised, no preparation whatsoever. The skating skills, is, I've always thought Paul, one of the solidest skaters I've ever seen, and Piper, who can carry your emotions on a whim. But their reaction at the end of that, you know, it was, um, they, I think they sent something special. I think, I think it's an emotional journey when you skate a program like that and you wouldn't change an inch, like you wouldn't change a thing. This is exactly the kind of skate you want at Worlds. Um, I think that they're just, they're special. And, and of course we don't know if they're gonna continue, but wow. Wow, 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 and I think it's going to be a big score. Uh, there was disappointment, obviously, after the rhythm dance. Uh, their thinking was, hey, we need to be in a, within a point, point and a half of the, the top team, the Americans, to have a shot. They're three and a half back, so we have to be realistic about the hole they are in right now. They would have to set a world record in order to beat uh, Madison and Evan. Evan. So they need a score of 135.70 to win the world title. 135.70 for first. And I was wrong, not quite world record needed. 133.17. That's absolutely huge, a personal best. Not quite what they need to pull ahead, but that is big. They win the free dance. And I agree with that, uh, absolutely. They didn't quite get all their max, max out on those levels. Paul only getting a level two on that one foot turn sequence. If they had gotten a higher level for him, they would have possibly been on top of that podium, but they will come away with a silver medal, the first world silver for them. I think that the silver medal right now, Kurt, would you agree, feels like, like gold to them? I think it's an emotional journey, but to remember that her career almost ended as, you know, like her, her scare with cancer last year, and so that resets your priorities. I think we take the lead from them. They look happy, so we're happy. Silver is gold right now. And they do get a small medal for winning. That's the, true. I the, have uh, the, the, the free dance. Yes, 